a glacier growing in size. Now we would like to tell you how and why a glacier grows in size during certain periods and under certain climatic conditions. A glacier is like a savings bank, a system where a series of deposits and withdrawals affect the total sum. As autumn sets in, snow left over from the previous autumn and winter and glacial ice meet on the surface of a glacier at a given altitude. This imaginary altitude line is called the equilibrium line. The fiscal year or annual savings period for a glacier starts with the first autumn snow. The new snow cover can be thought of as a deposit. It's a new mass that accumulates on the whole glacier until the following spring. Underneath the thick layer of new snow, older snow becomes compact and turns first into fern and at deeper levels into glacial ice. The internal ice flow and downhill slippage never stop. The glacier moves under its own weight, displacing mass towards its lower margins. The thawing, or better still melting season, starts late in the spring. Warm air currents and sunshine melt the snow and ice into water that flows from the glacier. Some of the ice vaporizes as well, and sections break away from the snout of a glacier if it borders on a lake or the ocean. This reduction of mass represents a withdrawal from the sum total of a glacier and is known as ablation. Our melting season turns out to be cold and wet, and the shrinkage takes place slowly. All new snow disappears from the lower reaches of the glacier, as does some of the underlying ice. However, a part of the snow in the upper regions remains in place after the thaw. The remaining snow forms a hard layer, a new and thick layer of fern. This amount is deposited in the account and goes towards future assets. A new fiscal year is about to start. Now the new hard snow layer meets glacier ice that is not covered with snow lower down on the surface than last year's equilibrium line. The new equilibrium line is here, at a lower altitude than last year's line. Let's look at the assets. The volume of the total of new snow this year was a large cube-shaped block calculated as water. The volume of water lost from the glacier as a result of melting was a cube of this size. In comparison, it's evident that there has been a large net gain of mass at the glacier. As a consequence, there is a surplus this year. If such a surplus occurs for a number of years in a row, the glacier becomes thicker and larger, causing the whole glacier to advance and reach farther forward than before. 